beauties how's everybody doing thanks for joining me welcome back so today I thought I would do as you can see the title it's a get ready with me and it's with one brand and it is Mally Beauty and as most of y'all know of course I love Mally Beauty if I had to pick my most favorite line of all in the cosmetics it would be Mally Beauty if I just had one to pick um, but I did also purchase on QVC the head. She had a TSV today special value um, that was aired mm, probably about a couple weeks ago, maybe now or something like that. And I had gotten uh, my goodies about last week or something like that. And I thought, you know, I'm going to go ahead and do um, a get ready with me, kind of like demonstrate the products that way. But, you know, just do a whole one brand get ready with me like just use a whole bunch of our products um the one thing i'll probably go off camera just a little bit is my brows um, it takes time to do my brows and then just i'm still in that learning process kind of thing or if you guys are interested in seeing the um kind of like the review of the products uh from her today's special value which came wrong way Right, but it came in this bag here has her name on it all the goodies are in here so if you would like to see me get ready using these products then just keep on watching first product I'm going to use which I need to be picking up some more of this um, is her uh, perfect prep primer it comes in a beautiful glass jar like this with a beautiful pink uh, top lid and everything you probably all know You've probably seen it so I'm going to use some of that for my primer the next item I'm going to use as my um, like a eyeshadow base which that's what hers is called the shadow base you've seen me use this a lot of times it does come in a lot of her shadow kits but I believe you still can purchase it separately um, it's for me a multitasker kind of an item because you can use it obviously as a concealer so that's one of the big things I like about it so I'm gonna just don't need a lot Okay, I'm gonna go off camera and I'm gonna do my brows. The brow product I'm gonna use of Mally's is her Brow Beauty Brow Kit. This is probably my favorite brow product from her uh, line of brows that I have tried. I haven't tried all of hers, but this is my favorite because it's quick, simple, and easy. Um, it's a Toby shade, it's like got a waxy substance on it. It just, it works. So it's probably one of my favorites from her line. Okay, so. I am going to pull out, um, because in Mally's kit, you got two of her eyeshadow sticks. It's in different packaging, so I'm not quite sure if there's different formula or anything like that, or if it's just different packaging. Um, I didn't, I've used this one, no, twice. I've used this twice and I haven't noticed any, anything different really, not myself. Um, there is built-in primer in here, so it, it does have some primer. Like if you're in a hurry, quick fix, that's what's nice about these. This one is in the shade called Smoky Quartz, the first one I'm going to use. The shade that it gives really really pretty so we're going to do from the lash line to the crease with that one now the other shade that you get in there is called what is it? moonlight and it's of like a champagne color so gorgeous right there you can see the highlight it's obviously good to brighten up and highlight any areas beautiful beautiful shade so I'm gonna do that I want to do it in the inner corner but I'm gonna wait because I want to do my concealer and stuff like that um, but I'm gonna do it a little bit below the brow and then just right in the center area of my eye look 
So the next product I'm going to use is one of her eyeliners. She does have uh, um, a couple different eyeliners. I like her pencil ones compared to the ones that you can roll up, twist up. I like these ones just a little bit more better. Um, they just work for me, stay on longer, and I'm able to work with them so much more better. Um, these are her Evercolor Starlight Waterproof Liners. And this one is in Noir, so it's like a black shade, which it does have a little brush on the end that you can use to smudgy smudgy if you want. So I'm going to use this. I'm going to use them on the top. Yeah, now I'm going to go in the inner rim. Used to have problems doing this, now I don't so much anymore. Then I'm going to use oh, this gorgeous color here, Trendsetter. I love this green shade from um, her Evercolor Starlight Liners. This is Trend Center. It's Trend Center. How are we going to say? Look at that green. Ooh. So I'm put that in the waterline. Yes. Yes. Now, mascara. This is her more, more is more. I was trying to remember how to say it. The more is more mascara. Now this, I, I wasn't sure because I'm so spoiled. You know how it is, you're spoiled to a product that you've used for years maybe or something. And I've always loved her volumizing mascara. The brush itself is a plastic uh, brush. And I have used lots with the plastic brush, but I was so spoiled with hers with, she had the brush, um, I wasn't sure, you know, like what I would think, and I was just like a little, because I was so used to, you know how it is, you're just so used to the other product. And as you can see, it does have very, very small, real teeny tiny little bristles. And the top has like some bristles that are a little bit different than the rest. It's, they're kind of a little more spikier at the top. Now at the very top up here, I was thinking the very top up here, there was supposed to be spikiness. I don't see it online, so I'm not sure if I got a defect or what happened. I'm not quite really sure. And you know me, I like to go ahead and wiggle on up. And since I don't have a curling wand, I always believe to hold it a little bit and then let go. Okay, this is just one coat, guys. I'm not sure how well you're seeing, but that's just one coat, so it's really a nice length, especially if you want the length, if you're somebody that likes the length, you're gonna really like this. And this time I'm gonna do what she said, is to hold it vertical, like vertically like this and kind of work with your lashes a little bit. It, it does look like you were wearing falsies, kind of. So I'm gonna use two different concealers of, squeeze my selfie in. I'm gonna use two different concealers of hers. Um, one will be more of a brightener and this one will just be to conceal. This is one of my favorite concealers from her, and it is, I actually have it in shade medium. Probably gonna have to get it in light, because medium might be a little too whatever for me. But it is her Age Rebel, it's called, I think it's Age Rebel Concealer. It comes in a little container like this. You can get it at Ulta, you can get it, I think, QVC and stuff like that still, and probably even on her site. And it's a nice creamy um, concealer, really nice. Um, I feel hydrating, creamy concealer. So it is one of my favorites from her. The foundation. Um, check out some stuff on it. It is her 4K Ultra HD Fantasy Foundation. I got mine in a light. My husband comes in a cute casing very cute casing and this brush came with it and the value for the um, the shadow sticks that you see me use the mascara 
this and then I believe the lippies the last thing was like 50 some dollars that's a really good deal because this brush alone is like $30 on her site and it feels super super soft it is a gorgeous gorgeous brush I really like how it's made I really like it and of course it has Mally in her pink it's it's really nice I would like to get some more of these brushes I think she has some more it feels really nice one thing I discovered with this foundation is pretty powdery it doesn't go powdery on me but I tried the tap and swirly kind of a thing and it did kick up um, a good bit of powder product so I kind of like to just dab into it I, I just found dipping dabbing into it like this was the better solution so we're gonna go ahead and cover this all up I don't have any other kind of foundation I'm just gonna be using this I mean you saw me put the primer on but I don't have anything else so we're gonna you know work with it with all that so I'm gonna go ahead and dab my brush in here it tones down my redness for sure but it doesn't really hide my imperfections like you can still see them through so what I would probably do for myself is um, put concealer you know dot some concealer in them areas so that's what we're gonna do is use a little bit of this concealer so here's this side here and then here's this side here so I'll let you guys be the judge so it does help maintain the redness but I do need to add concealer for my imperfection areas. Okay, so there we go. I'm unfortunately somebody that doesn't always get into a lot of powder foundations. I don't know why maybe it is because of my acne and scarring so I have used a little bit of a different bronzer I didn't do too much of any bronzing though really to be honest um, I'm gonna go ahead and use my effortless airbrush um, blush and highlight um, this is pretty in pink and pure highlight highlighter so we're gonna do the highlight first I'm gonna add some more of that green towards the bottom part here we're gonna use moonstone in the inner corner I'm going to use Perfect Prep Under Eye Brightener and my shade is in lighter. It's going to brighten up just a little bit more for under the eyes. Okay, so a couple of last things I'm going to do her a lip gloss that came in here. Ultra Performance Lip Shellic. That's what it looks like. Um, and it is in this really pretty color called Cherry Blossom and has one of them really, really nice flat, long flat, as you can see there, really long flat doe foot applicator, which really helps for shaping around the lips. All right, 
good. I guess it, it's it's um it gives off a nice look, like natural look, you know, kind of a thing. But anyway, I'm gonna use my little spongy thing like this, kind of dirtiest, the uh, face defender. I have the big big guy, which a lot of people really really talk up about the face defender. We I know Mary Ellen, she loves her face defender. Okay, beauty, so that is my get ready with me with um, Mally Beauty and her, her products. The only thing I couldn't use that I was looking for, and I know I have it, is her skin finisher. It's the bronzer that she used to have. She don't have it anymore, but she used to have a bronzer um, that, you know, she, well, she used to have bronzer, and I can't find it. So I had to use the my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil bronzer. I hear my kitty crying. So this is the look that I did get from a lot of her stuff. Um, the eye look, the lashes, the, like I said, the lip gloss is just, you know, nice uh, sheer gloss. So, and then I really love the green, you know, in here. I just really like it. It really works with my eyes. So... Yeah, guys, you be the judge on, um, like I said, I'm more big on, I'm more big on the liquid foundations. Um, it's mainly because of my acne scarring that I have, but yeah, I really, I really like the foundation. I do think it does help maintain the redness. Um, I really like the mascara. Uh, I, I love her shadow sticks because they're quick, simple, easy to do. And, you know, like, especially if you're in a pinch. And um, the lip gloss, I, I do like the lip gloss. Um, I would really like to try her lipsticks more, though, too. The lip gloss is a little more on the um, sticky, sticky side a little bit, you know. Yeah, that's kind of on that side. So I'm never bothered by that. But I know some people can be. But I think the foundation, I will use it with the CC or BB cream. So I have just that little more extra coverage. I think the combination of something like that might work better for me to cover a little bit more for me. Um, but like I, I mean, like I said, overall, it's not bad though. As you can see, I hear my kitty. So anyway, beauties, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did like the video, please give it a thumbs up. I'd like that so much. And um, that would make me happy, and it would also just help me out a little bit. And also, if you are not subscribed to my channel, you can come and join me each week, um, which I am starting May. I'm going to have a schedule going on. So I haven't really decided quite fully on the scheduling of what days or, you know, I'm, I'm working on that. Um, I kind of do, but don't. I'm like working with it a little bit but starting in May I will have a schedule and some different things going on so just be on the lookout for that coming in May which will be here before we know it and as always beauties please remember to be yourself love yourself and let the real beauty shine through until the next time y'all take care I will see you then and I don't know if I said but click on that subscribe button down below all right, beauties. I love y'all. Take care. Bye-bye.